The conference room was buzzing as the morning sun gilded the skyscraper in opulent shade of gold. They had been here before, but this time was different. For the second quarter in a row, they had been without a marketing leader. Now, shares were falling, clients were leaving, and the relationship-based economy threatened to leave their company behind. A rare mixture of excited hope and uncertain tension electrified the room, seeming too large for the space and bouncing frenetically against the glass walls. Adrenaline hummed in the air as those within the room teetered on the precipice between success and failure. Fingers drummed to the conference table, and eyes were bright with anticipation. This was their last chance, a Hail Mary an outsider who could create some immediate momentum and provide real leadership while their executive search continued. The door opened and all eyes shifted to the interim CMO as he made his way to the front of the conference table. He gently set his laptop down upon its mahogany surface. His confident but friendly eyes surveyed each and every one seated before him, matching faces to badges and greeting them all with a disarming smile. Okay, he said matter-of-factly picking up the small remote and turning towards the screen upon the wall. They all hoped as hard as they dare that this man could do what their previous CMO couldn't. With a click, the screen lit up with social media platforms at the ready. He turned back to face those gathered once more with that same disarming smile. Let's have some fun creating social capital and filling the sales funnel. Alan C.'s hands-on approach with companies and their employees has earned him a spot on Forbes' list of the top 50 most influential chief marketing officers on social media. His personable demeanor and charismatic way of speaking has helped both small and large businesses. He's given them marketers tips that will help them grow their careers, as well as their social clout. Despite how busy Alan is, he still finds time to chat on Twitter and LinkedIn where he posts helpful tips and advice to help his network connections be more competitive in the social economy.